All right, here we go. Playoffs time for year number three with your Wilkes Bear Scranton Penguins. And hopefully by the end of this one, we'll be able to move on to the NHL because it's been a long three years for sure. I mean, obviously we were in Ramuski for longer, but still, it would be nice if we can, you know, just get this over with and get straight to the NHL after this one. Because it has been quite a long, what's it been now, 12 years in the simulation? There was four in Ramuski, uh, one in Fort Wayne, two with Atlantic City, so that's seven, 11, 12, 13, actually no, this is 13, year number 13, at least at, out of the years that we've been employed. So yeah, let's just hope we can get this done here against Belleville. Let's get right to it. And at game number one, we have a 2 nothing victory over Belleville. Shots were 48 to 30 in favor of Belleville, so they really outplayed us for the most part but in the end we got the job done three stars of the game Moorhead with the shutout I definitely agree with that one uh Guy with the second star of the game for them and then Fogarty with the third star of the game so that that win was entirely on Mr. Moorhead there could not have been a better performance out of him with that 48 save shutout that is impressive obviously I would have liked to keep them to less than 48 shots that game but Still, that's that's a statement game by the goaltender, and I think that really sets the tone for the rest of the playoffs, so that's definitely a good game to get started on. So here we go, game number two, and oh my, we have a one nothing victory in game number two. Three stars of the game, Moorhead with another shutout, and then Cerrone and Fogarty once again. Shots were 31 apiece this time, so they, they didn't get nearly as many shots, but still... Moorhead shuts the door once again. And in game number three, we have a 5-2 victory, so no shutout this time, but still a really good victory for us. Offense came alive in that game. Three stars of the game, McMahon, Fogarty, and Lazat. Shots were 48-36 to 36 in favor of us this time, so it, it appears that everything is just going our way right now. All right, game number four. Let's just, let's, let's put an end to this series now. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, forgot to go into it. <laughs> but the good news is, is that we did win 3-2, to two, and we are moving on to round number two in a sweep. Three stars of the game, Meyer, York, and Moorhead once again on the three stars of the game. He was fantastic for us in this series. Shots were 39-33 to 33 in favor of Belleville, but still, we won 3-2. to two. You know what? Maybe I should just not go into games. J just, just for one year. Just for one. I, I just want to see what happens, because <laughs> I have some notoriously bad luck with going into those slow simulation games. So maybe just quick simming the playoffs is the way to go. <laughs> All right, and in round number two, we are up against the Hartford Wolfpack, who are 42, 29, and 5 on the regular season. And I believe their previous series actually went to seven games, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, they went to seven against Lehigh Valley, so they, they're probably pretty tired, and obviously we're really rested, given that we swept our previous series, so, you know, I, I'm expecting us to come out full throttle here in this game number one, in round number two, and hopefully that results in a win for your wilkes barre Scranton Penguins, and yes, indeed, it is a win, four to one win to be specific, shots were 44 to 24 in favor of your wilkes barre Scranton Penguins, so certainly played like the most rested team there. They started the game, Bovai, McGowan, and Gelbard. Pretty solid game. Nothing really to complain about there. All right, time for game number two. And unfortunately, we have our first loss of the playoffs. That is going to be a 5-3 to three loss against Hartford. We did outshoot them 44-31, to 31, so we outplayed them once again, but they, unfortunately, it looks like they just got the better quality shots. Three stars of the game, Osborne. Molden and McPherson. And I'm not going to go and blame Moorhead for anything there because obviously he's been great so far, but he did have a bit of an off game there. So hopefully he gets back into form in this game number three. Oof. And in game three, that is going to be a 3-2 to two Hartford win. Shots, once again, we outshot them by a pretty wide margin, 44-28, to 28, but they take the 3-2 to two win. It's three stars to game, Osborne, Holstein, and Gaynor. And game number four, we have a 6-3 to three win. That is more like it. Shots are 39 to 32, actually in favor of them this time, but it appears whoever's getting the least amount of shots is winning the game, at least <laughs> as of the past three games. Three stars of the game, Holstein, Adams, and Priestley are now tied at two in the series. Oh, good news. We just got our, t our leading score back. Roger Covers has rejoined the roster. Unfortunately, we did lose Magnus Blomberg to Pittsburgh, but Roger Cover, the, the impact that he had in the regular season Cannot be understated. All right, here we go. Huge game number five. Who is going to take it? And we have a 3-2 win for your wilkes barre Scranton Penguins. Shots are 32-28. to 28. So once again, the trend continues of <laughs> the, t the team with the least shots winning the game. Three stars of the game, Bovai, Enns, and Holstein. Here we go, game number six. All we need is one more win to get to the conference finals. And unfortunately, 
It's going to be a 5-2 loss. We're headed to Game 7. Shots were 40-36. to 36, So the trend of the team with the least amount of shots winning the game is no longer the case. He starts the game. Hannon, Bury, and Leesk. All right, here we go. Game 7, Conference Finals on the line. Let's go into it. Period number 1. And we have a goal from Ron Larson, basically immediately from Holstein and Langley. So we're off to a good start. Let's keep it that way. And there's another one. Roger Covert. I believe that is his first goal of the playoffs from Larson and Gelbard. We are now up by two. And there's another one. Joel McKeever. Let's go. Three goals in the first period so far. It's not even over. And there's another one. Steven Molden from Mayer and Priestley. We are up by four. And the first period is not even over. There's the first one for Hartford. McPherson with the goal for them. But they still have quite a steep mountain to climb it. As there's another one by Roger Covert from Larson and Novi. 5-1 to one in the first period, and it's, once again, not even over. There's another one by Jarrett Bury to make it 5-2. to two. And Wow, what a crazy period this has been. <laughs> and it is finally over. 5-2 to two after one period. And there's the first goal of the period for them this time. Levi Benson with the goal makes it 5-3. to three. So it is certainly an interesting game up to this point. And we are headed into the third with a two-goal lead. Don't blow it. Please don't blow it. There you go. There's a goal for Dylan Fogarty to make it a 6-3 to three lead with 10 minutes remaining in the third period. Can we pull it off? Are we headed to the conference finals? Yes, indeed we are. What a game. What a, a first period in particular. That was a crazy first period. Shots were 35-25. to 25. It certainly didn't feel like that, especially with the way the, the first period was going. And then three stars of the game, Larson, Langley, and Covert. Uh, what a game. What a series. And we are off to round number three and we'll be facing the bridgeport sound tigers in round number three they are 44 27 and 5 on the regular season very close record to ours and we are here in the final four so let's get to it start of round number three can we start it on a good note yes we can we win game number one four to one shots are 32 apiece three stars of the game fogarty moorhead and holstein and something i just noticed about holstein is that i didn't even sign him apparently the computer signed him on April 14th, so in the middle of the playoffs, basically, <laughs> he was signed. And because as we see, he, he did not play any regular season games for us. And during the playoffs, he's here with 12 points in six games. <laughs> I don't know where he came from, but I'm, I'm glad the computer GM decided, like the assistant GM decided to sign him because he has been incredible for us so far these playoffs in the games that he has played and game number two unfortunately is going to be a Bridgeport win four to three shots were excuse me 63 to 60 uh, oh it went to double overtime okay that makes sense three stars of the game Chapoon, Novi and Pino and unfortunately our first line defensive pair Stell is down with an injury how long uh all right bruised ribs day to day looks like he'll be back some point in the series and in game number three, we have a 5-2 victory for your Wilkes Barre Scranton Penguins. Shots were 43-32 to in favor of the Penguins. And the three stars of the game, Langley, McGowan, and Bovai. So that means we have a 2-1 lead in the series. Certainly looking good so far. So hopefully we can continue that here in game number four. Unfortunately, that will be a 3-1 loss. Shots were 30-23 to in favor of Bridgeport. So really not much going on for us. Three stars of the game, Johnston, Coverts, and Tremblay. Here we go. Time for game number five. We have a 4-1 to one win. Shots are 39-33 to 33 in favor of your Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. Three stars of the game, Larson, Moorhead, and Holstein. So we are up by one in the series. And we have two opportunities to get to the AHL Cup Finals. Here we go. Game number six time. And that will unfortunately be a 3-2 to two loss. We are headed to game seven. Shots were 46 to 31 yikes three side of the game Tremblay, stone and shapoo here we go game seven we are going into it come on penguins come on penguins there it is greg stell coming back from injury his first game back from injury gets us on the board one nothing up uh, oh, there's a goal for bloy now tied at one here we go start of the second get something going here there you go landon stone with the goal puts us up by one halfway through the second are we gonna get another one we do get a goal but not for us carter savoie for Bridgeport makes it tied at two and that will be the end of the second period headed into the third tied at two and that's a goal for Martin Bula right to start off the period not a good way to start oh, come on there it is all right Landon Stone I believe that's the second of the game yes indeed it is tied at three halfway through the third period anything could happen and heading into overtime on the power play come on Penguins come on Penguins 
And there it is. We get the overtime goal from Priestley, I believe, as his name is highlighted. Yep, he has the goal. The overtime goal to send us into the AHL finals. That's what you'd like to see. Shots are 44 to 36 on the game. Three start of the game. Holstein, Snodden, and Stone. And of course, honorable mention with the overtime winner, Josh Priestley. This has been quite the playoffs already. I mean, this is our first time in the playoffs with this team. And we're already here in the finals, and we are facing the Rockford Ice Hogs. I mean, not to mention, this is the first time the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins have been in the playoffs since, like, what was that, eight years ago? So, if, if we can win the AHL Cup here, or whatever it's called, the uh, the Calder Cup, right, then that would be pretty impressive if, if we could, you know, get through this part of the uh, franchise mode within three years. And, and, and of course, not to mention, these guys getting into the playoffs the first time in eight or nine years, and... Just instantly winning the Calder Cup, that'd be that'd be quite the story. So Rockford, they were 46, 18, and 12 on the regular season, 104 points. I mean, of course, they're going to be tough. It's the finals. They made it here for a reason. But I, I believe that with the way we have been simulating for the most part, we definitely should be able to take them on. Let's get right to it. Game number one against Rockford. And that would be a 3-2 Rockford win, unfortunately. Shots were 46 to 33, so we outshot them. We outplayed them, but they just got one more in the net. Three stars of the game, Bennett, Molden, and Quietinen. All right, game number two. Are we going to have a different outcome this time? Nope, unfortunately not. A 4-2 Rockford win. Shots are 39 to 35, so they outshot us this time. Three stars of the game, Silas, Priestley, and Strand. Come on, we can come back from this. I mean, I know we're down 2 nothing, but it's not over till it's over. Here we go, game number three. Oof. Five to four loss. Shots were 35-32. We outshot them marginally. Three stars of the game. Lesko, Deshanae, and Strand. Obviously, the situation is not looking good, but you never know what could happen. So let's just take it game by game here. And game number four, we have a 6 nothing wilkes barre Scranton penguins win. Okay, that's much different than what we have seen in the past three games. Shots are 41-38 to in favor of wilkes barre Scranton. And the three stars of the game, Moorhead with the shutout, Adams and McKeever. All right, here we go into game number five. And that is going to be a Rockford win, 3 0. Unfortunate. Shots at 39 to 29. Three stars of the game Quitonin, O'Connor, and Porter. Well, that was quite the run, but unfortunately, it did not happen. <laughs> we were so close, man. We were so close to getting to the NHL. It's really annoying, especially after the good performances of players like Holstein, who had 22 points in 17 games, who <laughs> came out to a roster out of nowhere. Landon Stone had a good playoffs as well 20 points in 23 games. And then Moorhead was incredible with a 930 save percentage in 23 games played. Unfortunately, though, we just couldn't squeeze out those last three wins that we needed. Well, I guess with that being done, it's time to move on to year number 14 <laughs> and year number four with the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> 